Right, I had a guy on YouTube ask uh, how this uh, automatic tool changer actually works. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, show you really the, the very basics of it. First of all, the base was created so that it only goes in one place. Once it's slid into place, it uh, makes contact with the front uh, of the table and the right-hand side of the table. When it's bolted down, it can't be moved in any other direction. As a result of it being bolted down in that one direction, the very center of the uh, rotary axis is lined up with the very center T-slot. Not only that, the riser itself, which is your center uh, two-inch span, has a pin that's directed into the very, in the very uh, slot of its uh, T-slot as well. And that T-slot is lined up in the very center according to uh, a little ticker right down in here, a, a tick mark. That tick mark, if you look at my fourth axis, it's, it's a lot more evident here. And that tick mark should line up with zero on your A axis <clears throat> so that when you uh, place the platter on top, the platter will be in the position to where the first tool is on the back side. So when you, uh, when you put this together, the, uh, the way that it, that it sits right now is the only way that it will sit and then you just make very fine adjustments as you go along. Uh, the main thing about having a tool changer is that you must have uh, you must have uh, homing switches in place. So that's the reason why we made the homing switches uh, along with this, so that we can use this and always guarantee the fact that it goes back in the same place each and every time. Uh, other than that, if you didn't have a automatic tool changer and if you had to change your tools out all the time, I, I, I see no reason to have homing switches if that was the case.